Well, good evening and welcome to East Burgo High School and our very first virtual open evening. We truly wish you were here. Unfortunately, in the circumstances, we can't have you coming into the school. I'm Dan Woodcock, I'm the head teacher, and I'm going to briefly tell you a little about the school. Now, I joined East Burgot High School in January this year, and I have to say, I was made to feel incredibly welcome. The staff here are absolutely phenomenal, the children are great, and they're all aspiring to be the very, very best they can be. Now, East Burgot High School is part of the South Suffolk Learning Trust, um, which is formed of about five different schools with the motto of excellence through collaboration. We work together to improve the life chances of all students who attend the schools. We have an excellent rural location. We have absolutely fantastic facilities, whether that's sporting or educational, very leafy environment. And we also have our very own resident ducks. At East Burgart High School, we want our students to have the, the very best academic qualifications when they leave us. Those qualifications will get them the foot in the door of their dream job. We also want them to leave us with the strength of character that will set them apart from other people applying for those jobs. That way we know that they will be truly successful when they go into the wider world of wider work, wider world of work. Now, I have a son in year six, and I have to say he is probably watching this at the moment. And we are going through exactly the same as you are and trying to make a decision about what school we should send him to next year. Now, I sat down to write this last night and I thought, best person to ask in this situation is is Seb my son and say what would you want to hear from your head teacher and the first thing he said is uh, dad just don't make it boring okay fine we got over that and we moved on eventually after I prized the headphones from his head and managed to pin him down to some ideas he came up with nine different things that he wanted to hear me talk about the first thing he said was dad what about homework now, I'd like to think that homework is um, the thing that he wants to do because he's striving to be the very best he can be and he's diligently going to be working after school every night, uh, getting as good as he can possibly be, um, rather than sitting on his Xbox. Now, at East Burgot High School, we set regular homework. It reinforces the work we do in the classroom and it's all set through Google Classroom. As a parent, you'll be able to access and see the homework that is set for our Google Guardian. The second thing that he asked me was, Dad, is there too much work to do? Well, I said to him, well, yes, we have really high expectations of our students, but supporting you are great teachers, teachers who really want the very best for you. We know that hard work in the classroom will reap the rewards later in life. The third thing he asked me was, how do you help children settle in? Now, I know there'll be lots of children anxious about making the transition into secondary school, and we do everything we can do to make that transition as smooth as possible. So we visit primary schools through the summer term. We try to get to know you as children and to find out a little bit more about who you are and where you're coming from. We have a transition day in, uh, in the, uh, July where you come in and spend a day in school, finding your way around and trying to settle yourself in. Something we did this year as well is we had our year seven students in for a day on their own at the very beginning of term. And that's something we'll be looking to repeat again next year. That means you can meet your tutor, you can go to some lessons and other children around you uh, at the time. So you have the run of the school. We also have a lot of support in school. Now, whether that's your tutor or whether it's our prefects, uh, whether it is our SOS peer mentors or whether it is the people who work in our student support area, they're all there to support you through your first days at school. The next thing he said was quite an easy question. What subjects do you learn, Dad? Well, that's easy. In year seven to nine, you follow a full curriculum at East Burgholt High School, whether that's arts, music and drama, PE, technology subjects, including food technology. Every student studies two languages, as well, of course, the core subjects, English, maths and science. In year 10 and 11, you go on to study GCSEs. We have a wide range of options that you can take in GCSE subjects. And you can follow a tailored pathway that really is um, what you want to do and what will lead you on to your future career. The fifth thing he asked was a little bit more difficult to answer. And it was, how do you deal with naughty children? Well, thankfully, that's rare at East Burgart High School. And I truly believe that if we have children who are engaged in the classroom, then those minor behavioral niggles become something that are just not something we have to deal with. But we know that children sometimes get it wrong. Now, we believe that that often is a sign of an unmet need 
or something that the child is struggling. So we try to work and diagnose exactly what that is and work with the child rather than just placing in sanction upon sanction. We have a very simple um, uh, routine in the classroom where students are given reminders, uh, they're given a warning, and if their um, behavior disrupts learning, they're relocated to another room where they can continue their work. The sixth thing he asked me was changes about COVID, Dad. What have you done to change the school to make sure it's safe in COVID? Really good question, and the answer to that is lots. We have staggered break times and lunch times. Our students line up outside the school before they're met by, by their teachers. They all wear masks in lesson changeovers, and we have literally gallons and gallons of hand sanitizer everywhere around the school. Last night, we had a parents evening that was entirely run online. And the feedback we've had initially from our parents was that they really, really enjoyed the experience. So 80 percent of the parents who we polled today have already said that they prefer that way of uh, coming into the school and engaging with the school than actually coming into school. The next thing I asked me is what clubs? Well, East Bogart High School prides itself on the variety of different opportunities outside of school, whether that's sports, whether it's uh, art clubs, or whether it's something here for everybody to enjoy. In addition, we run many trips, including trips to places like Auschwitz, uh, the battlefields, we run an annual ski trip, and last year, some students also had the opportunity to go to Rio de Janeiro. The penultimate thing he asked me was, well, what jobs do East Burgot High School students go on to do? And I had to pause them because I've actually had to look into this today. Um, most of our students, 98%, move on to local colleges. So they go on to Suffolk One or to Culture Sixth Form College. We have students who've moved on to study masters in linguistics. We've got a student who's studying for a PhD in the USA. We have another student who visited us last year who is now a travel blogger and writer. We have a nurse and performance um, poet, and apparently we also have two Ipswich Town footballers. In addition to that, we also have Mr. Clark, who is head of year 10, who is a student here and has come back to teach and to lead that year group. The last thing he asked me was, how do you help students who need a little bit more help? Well, we have an inclusion team that is run by our Senko, Debbie Chapman Roberts, who supports students who have special educational needs. We have our student support area that provides help to students who maybe do a little bit more nurturing and support in their day-to-day -day life at school. I mentioned before our SOS peer mentoring scheme where older students mentor younger students um, with anything that might be going on in their lives. That is a very successful um, scheme. Now, I hope that that answers some of Seb's questions and I hope it answers some of your questions about East Burgot High School. As a parent, the question I would want to ask myself is, would you send your child to East Burgholt High School? And the answer to that is, without hesitation, yes, I would. I know that he would thrive if he came to East Burgholt High School. Our values of kindness, positivity, mean that he would be the very best he could be. So please take a little bit of time to watch our video tour that we posted onto our website tonight. The video tour was uh, filmed entirely by students at East Burgholt High School um, who are here at the moment ex-students who came back to help out and the staff who put it together sign off the most important thing please 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 do not miss the application deadline on the 31st of october if you don't apply then the chances are you won't get a place thank you very much for listening i hope you enjoy all the resources we've got there and um, i hope to see you again a little bit later on for our live q a thank you very much goodbye